Oh, what is going on guys welcome back it is your boy institutional here and we are back with another video the video today is going to be back from our series from shifting from retail ideology to smc trading and the lesson today is going to be is doing the opposite of what retail is doing so that's going to be a very important thing in transitioning your journey from a retail ideology trader to a smc trader which is going to be understanding what retail does where you always want to do the opposite right so i'm going to implement a couple of things here and I'm going to show you guys the price action that has happened throughout today, through yesterday and today, and how we can use SMT to our advantage and also now understanding uh, SMT as a whole and looking at retail ideology from a different perspective, right? So when you're looking at charts every single day, you should ask yourself, what is retail doing and what can you do opposite from them, right? So if we're looking at price right here, right, we know that our to trade are from, it'll be from 8.30 all the way to 12, right? Recessions right here. You can have that right there. And sorry, guys. And then the next session, we're going to do the same thing, right? So it's going to be from 8 30. We don't have to look at the overnight, overnight run, which is focused on the 8 30 to 12. On the midnight, sorry. So this right here is your scope from New York session for you to be able to capitalize from, right? Now, looking at US 500, let's take a look at what happened yesterday. So if we look at our DNA range, what's the DNA range? Basically, where price is going to be stuck in for the day, and we should be looking for the capitalize until market closes from either 12 or from 4 p.m., wherever session you're looking to trade from. So looking at this session, if we take a look, our range will be something like this. Here we have our high. Here we have our low. And what we're looking for, since we are shifting lower, we want to see price coming back down to a state of discount right now take a look at the range that we had through overnight so yes this is your higher range but you have a smaller range between these levels so i believe i covered this between my ranges video or something like this you have that range and you have this range right so what does it look like price is doing when market opens up it looks like now we are pushing higher and what does retail see in these levels if you guys want these indicators are going to be right here here's the session asian session high lows they're not indicators they're just telling you the sessions so this one is my Asian session and this one is my London session. It's just so I can have and have an idea of what happened overnight and a little bit more of a, um, you know, I'm a visual guy. So I like seeing a better rather than just having it um, drawn up. So now looking at that, what does price do? It grabs all of Asian highs. It grabs all of the highs. But what is retail doing here? If we take a look at price right here, what does retail see? They see this as a trend line. So again, this is the lesson today. Do the opposite of what retail is doing. So what do you think retail is doing here? Once they see this, they're gonna wanna be shorting price. But once it breaks, what do they see right here? What they see right here is a break of structure for price to continue pushing up higher, right? Why? Because this lower high point led to this lower low. So they wanna see price coming up higher. We understand though, that as SMC traders, we are trading from premiums to discount so if we look at this overall range where are we in right now are we to be looking for buys here not at all right what are we to be looking for we are to be looking for sells so now let's take a swap of this as one time so we can i can show you guys again so again the first perspective is understanding what is retail doing so what are they doing here they're looking for longs why because we have a trend and we broke out of it right so now Take a look at the M5. If we look at the M5, we always want to see a break of structure on the M5 minimum and then drop down to smart time frame. So what do we have right here? We have a higher low point that led to his higher high that led to his lower low. So this can be considered the famous change of character that people like to call it. But to me, it's just a shift in market structure, right? So we broke the highs. We broke the lows right here. And we broke the highs right here, right? So what I want to see something is here that shows me my model. Now, I'm not going to go over the entry yet, but just... You know, it's a 2022 model. If you guys haven't watched ICT, go ahead and watch it. So here it is. We want to look for something here that tells us that price wants to go lower now. Because again, we are at a premium. We have time and price. It's 9.30 in the morning. Price already is above our 8.30 opening price, which is right here. Right? We can mark that off as well. Right there. And now we want to be looking for price to go up higher. So, I mean, lower after it breaks that structure point. So now looking at price, what can you see that happens after we break this market structure shift right here? 
what do we get right there? We get a nice solid free value gap right here. And we have a nice little order block right here. Right? So looking at price, what do you want to do? All you have to do is put your entry at the 50% again. Keep it simple. 50%. Stop loss above the order block. And you're targeting what? You're targeting the levels that retail is still going to want to be focused on for long and why because again what do they see here guys they see higher lows being made they see a swing up higher so what they want to be doing here is they want to be long in here and they're going to see what is what is this wick right here retail longing they get stopped out what is this wick right here retail longing they get stopped out so what are you targeting when you're looking for this price to go lower you can target the bottom of the range which is our smart assumption range which is right here that would have been a solid 41 or you could target the lows over here that would have been even better it would have been a nice little six to one. And this was yesterday. Now let's take a look at one more thing for price action. Let's delete all this. Let's take a look at M15. If you take a look at M15, what is price doing here? Take a look at this. Let's split the screen real quick. What is price doing right here, guys? Here we are making a lower high point. You see that? And what are we making right here, guys? We're making a higher high point. So this is already telling you that we have SMT. So cracks in correlation where you can be looking to short price, right? And again, how do you notice these things? Look at it from understanding what price is telling you. Look at it from where is SMT happening and when can I capitalize from it when it is being formed, right? So here you have the SMT. I made a video on this on YouTube. And if you don't want to look at my video, look at ICTs. But basically, here you have the lower high. Here you have the higher high. So price is telling you that NASDAQ, I mean, S&P wants to go lower because we have a crack in correlation. Again, let's look at price action today. If you look at today's price action, what do we have here? We have a lower low. What do we have with S&P? We have equal lows, right? So look at how price here makes equal lows and how price for NASDAQ makes a lower low, right? So this again, it's another crack in correlation. So both days, you had a cracks in correlations here where you can be looking to go short and cracks in correlations here where you can be looking to go long. Now, again, the lesson today was doing the opposite of as retail trading. But I just showed you guys a little bit about SMT and how you can apply that as well. What you should do is have two screens on your monitor, have this on your second monitor, and then your first monitor have your overall chart where you're looking to trade. So let's go, let's go back to S&P today now. Let's finish off with this lesson right here. If we take a look at today's price action, right? And we see what happened today. Let's take a look at this. So yesterday, what did we get? We got price going lower. So retail wants to be looking at go long once price rates go higher. What did we get today? Constantly, we got the opposite, right? And where is our DNA range? Again, where's our DNA range? Look at price. It's going to be this run higher. This run lower. All right. And this is going to be what? A smaller time from DNA range. Same as yesterday. Same thing. Again, we do this every single day. Try to keep it simple, guys. Try to keep it as simple as possible. So what does price look like we do here? We broke out of Asian highs and we broke out of Asian lows, right? So yes, I can give you something here, but I'm looking for the most probable setups here. So yes, price does drop down here and we could probably find an entry here. But now look at what happens a little bit later in the day. What do we get here? We get a market structure shift again, right? We're now retail might think that price wants to go lower. Why? Because what is this again? This is a retail trend line. So we broke out of this trend line, right? And retail is going to be looking at this for price to go down lower. Why? Because they see this as a break of structure. They see this as a retest and they want to continue dropping price lower. And their take profits are going to be aware below this. But if you take a look back, again, this is now understanding the overall perspective. Where are we in terms of structure? We are sitting right at an H4 order block right here. So now price is back at a discount from your own perspective. We can be looking to long price once again. Now, this is where now plan two time frames come in handy or two charts. So again, what are you doing here? They're looking for shorts. What we want to see is something here in smaller time frames right here, right? So we drop down here at M5. 
what do we have right here? We have a breaking structure, right? We have a lower high point, let's say it's lower low, that let's say it's higher high. But do you have any Fair Value Gap or any entry model right here? No, let's jump into them too. What do you have right here? Break of the lows, break of the highs. Do you have anything here that tells you price wants to go higher? Not really, right? Price comes right back down. And let's say you had your entry right here. Well, you could have gotten stopped out for this date because this is, again, understanding that not all the time the model will work. So here you have a Fair Value Gap right here. Right? And it's pretty clean. You have a free value gap and you have an order block. And for this time frame specific, this shit would have not panned out, right? They were going for these orders. But you can see that even after that, it still goes up higher. So let's say you did get stopped out of this, right? This isn't like the cleanest to me. So let's drop down to NASDAQ. This is where now having two pairs comes in handy. So looking at a US 100 NASDAQ, this is a little bit more clear to me, right? So you can see how price does the opposite of what, not the opposite, but it gives you a better kind of scope. Even if you got stopped out here, you still had the entry, the time to re-enter with NASDAQ. So looking at price here, what do you see here? Again, if you look at the M5, what does price do here? It makes a lower low. So this makes more sense to me. Why does this make more sense to me? And why would I have not taken SP today? Well, first of all, yes, we have SMT, but what is this right here? Did we ever break out of the lows? We did not, right? So what is this sitting below here? Still liquidity. So can this be a target I'm still looking to keep my eyes on? Absolutely. So whenever we have equal lows, I do not want to be trading from that. So what I'll do is if I see SMT, I'll trade to the pair that doesn't have it. So what do we have here? We broke out of the equal lows just slightly. So we have already grabbed all the orders. So now I want to see an M5 shift in this level for price to tell me that price wants to go up higher. So again, it's just quitting things and doing things aligned together. So again, doing the opposite of what retail is doing. Look at that trend line. What does retail see when price breaks out of this trend line? They wanna be going short, right? What does retail see when price gives you this break of structure right here? What do they see when price comes back up to this level? They see this as a, as a retest for price to continue going lower. So now you wanna ask yourself, how can I do the opposite of what retail is doing? Again, you wanna be looking for some sort of information here that tells you that price wants to go up higher. So what do we have here? Your M5 shift, right? Let's drop down to the M2. If you drop down to the M2, what do you have here? A little bit more cleaner. You have this placement up higher, right? You have an order block again, and you have a fair value gap right there, and you have your order block right here. So you can go ahead and mark that off, right there. Put that lower. All right. And what are we targeting for this day? We're targeting these highs. We don't need to go for the highs over here. We can just target these highs right here. And what we'll do is we'll use negative deviations for take profits. So what does that mean? Come over here. We'll come to this retest right there. Right out of discount. Let's look at our negative deviations. Nope. That makes a bit more sense to me. Negative 0 0.1. So right here, I'll be looking for targets. So what we'll do now is Let's say you want to play it safe. This is where medications come in, right? What does price do here? Makes a higher low point that leads to his higher high that makes a higher low point that leads to his higher high. What do you have here? You have inducement of buyers and you have a fairly gap sitting right below it. So you can use this as a second entry. And what you can do is you can have that level here. You understand that now here you have a new order block and new for value gap for you to focus on since we already mitigated this price, right? We already mitigated this. And again, what is retail doing? They're looking for price to go back up towards or lower because again, they see this as a retest, a retest to the shorts where price to continue going lower. So all you have to do again is put your entry here, put your stop loss below your order block, either here or here, whatever you want to, whatever data you've built for yourself. Since I already mitigated this, it doesn't need to come back down there. So this would be the safer entry. And take profit right here for a nice solid seven to one. And again, it's just doing the opposite of what retail is doing every single day. Do you think retail would have seen this? Not really. Why? Because they see this again as a break of structure. And what they want to be doing is they want for price to be going lower. And what is retail doing in these levels when price drops down like this? In this entire range, they're going to want to be shorting price. So here you have people shorting, they get stopped out. Here you have people shorting, they get stopped out. Here, what do you have? People shorting. They're getting stopped out because, again, you want to be doing the opposite of what retail is doing. So keep that in mind, guys. I hope you guys got a bit from this lesson with SMC and a little bit about SMT. 
Um, yeah, that's it about for today, guys. Safe training, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video, right? Take it easy, guys.